everyone welcome back today we are going to learn about adaptation of aquatic animals an animal either it is vertebrate or invertebrate spend most of or all of its life span in water is called aquatic animals see here i have used the word vertebrate which means animal with spine or backbone and invertebrate means animal without spine or backbone some examples of aquatic animals are fish water snails sea snakes whales and dolphins their body is adapted for swimming adaptation in fish fishes are adapted for aquatic way of life so let's talk about their adaptations first streamlined body shape you all have seen the fish their body is spindle shaped or boat shaped on each end which is tapering at both the ends here tapering means becoming thinner or narrower towards the end so such a body shape is called streamlined body shape this streamed body helps fish to swim and overcome the resistance offered by water head and body of a fish is compressed and snout which means long nose is subconical subconical means somewhat shaped like a cone second presence of fins a fish has two types of fins first is paired fins and the second one is median fins there are two paired fins in fishes one pair of pectoral fins and one pair of pelvic fin pectoral fin are situated on each side of the fish just behind the gills and pelvic fins are located on ventral surface of fish now the second one median fins median fins are of three in number first is caudal fin dorsal fin and anal fin first caudal fin caudal fin and tail push the body forward and function like a rudder rudder means a flat piece of wood or metal at the back of a boat or aircraft moved from side to side in order to control the direction of travel in fishes it help in changing the direction during swimming the next one is pectoral fin and dorsal fin pectoral fin act as a balancer and dorsal fin as stabilizer student here stabilizer means keeping something stable the next one scales the entire body of a fish is covered with smooth overlapping scales that protect and helps the fish to move smoothly through water the scales are covered with a slimy substance that makes them slippery this slimy substance protects the body of a fish from decaying in water air bladder some fish have air filled bladder which is also called swim bladder when a fish wants to rise to a higher level it fills its swim bladder with air to become lighter for example you all have seen balloon if a balloon is filled with air it rises up so same applies here on air bladder of fish also and when the fish wants to dive down it releases the air in its swim bladder to become heavier gills fish have gills for exchange of gases or can be said in a easier word fish breathe through gills these are located behind the head in opicular chamber opicular is a series of bones that serves as a facial support and a protective covering for the gills so water passes over the gills and then expelled gills are formed of gill filaments and network of blood capillaries as water flows through opicular chamber and passes over the gills the oxygen dissolved in water is taken up by the blood in the capillaries of gill or gill filaments and the carbon dioxide in the blood is released into the water the last one lateral line system fishes possesses 
sense organs in the lateral line which can detect changes in the pressure of water currents so students this is it i hope you all understood the topic you can also suggest topics for my next videos in the comment section and if you like my video please like share comment and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever i put any new video thank you I can feel cut.